Okay, y'all. Yes, we are here, y'all. We, 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 are, we are live and direct, y'all. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead and get the announcements first before we start the show. Uh, yeah, so everybody that came out this weekend to Miami. Whoo! Okay? Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that came. Uh, okay? It was a lot of information given. Those that came to the yacht. All right? All that was smooth. Okay? It was... It was very wonderful. All right, I can definitely say that I love doing things like that. All right. Um, it was a little bit on the cold side, a little bit on the cold side, but we made do. Everybody, a lot of folks on the boat had they chin chillers and shit. I was like, okay, bring it out. They furs and shit. Okay, okay. All right. All right. So the class was great. All right. So the next upcoming class, y'all already know, it's the online $50 class. Okay. It's a two-day class. From January 20th to January 21st, okay, $50, meaning you can be in Hong Kong, you can be in Australia, you can be in Canada, you can be down in Philadelphia, be over to Louisiana, and be all, okay, you can be anywhere, all right, long as you got Wi-Fi, internet, you can get this information. Okay, now what is in this information as you're probably thinking to yourself like, man, what the hell is this guy talking about? Okay, all right, it's going to be the indoors, in force, okay, online. Normally, it's $888, all right, but they we're doing this for those that can't afford it at that price because everybody always feel like I... Fuck you if you ain't got it. No, family, no. But what I'm not going to keep doing is keep bringing my price down when I know what is the value of what's coming with the class. Okay, again, I show people how to perform contracts. Let me say it again. I show people how to perform contracts. Please share this live, family, okay? Because you know, sharing is caring. And you know, sometimes caring is can be a little bit daring, all right? So we just need a little bit of daredevils out there to go ahead and care a little bit because when you care a little bit, you're going to start to share a little bit, okay? All right? Yes, all the robots and agents here, come on in. All the federal workers, oh, yes, come on, man. Come come in, my, uh, my co-workers. <laughs> come on in, co-workers, okay? All right? Uh, yes, we're going to... We're going to get to Milk Dud and 
Montel Jr., all right? Because that's how I'm going to refer to the two brothers that I got to go after today. Again, y'all, nothing is personal. It's all competition. But y'all go ahead and tag Milk Dud. Y'all go ahead and tag Montel, Montel uh, Jordan Jr., okay? Go ahead and tag Montel Jordan Jr. while I finish up this introduction, all right? Y'all go ahead and tag Montel uh, Jordan Jr. Y'all already know who I'm talking about. Tag Montel Jr., okay? Montel Jordan Jr. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Tag Montel Jordan Jr. All right, y'all remember Montel? Y'all remember that show Montel? <laughs> who the fuck is this dude? All right, but anyway. Uh, Montel Williams, my bad. Montel Williams Jr., look at me. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm big tripping. I'm thinking of Montel Williams Jr. I'm over there talking about Montel Jordan Jr. Montel Williams. Yes, man. If y'all don't tag Montel Williams, bring him here. Okay? We need Montel Williams Jr. here now. Okay? But before we get to that, all right, 20th through the 21st family, okay, I will be teaching how to properly endorse your bill, all right, and what to do after they do not accept that form of payment. Okay, this is, everything is legal, all right? We just got a, out of mentorship. I just had, I'm going to have another, another mentorship, uh, January, February, March, April, May. I'm going to have another mentorship in May, family. My next mentorship will be in May. But yes, tag Montel Williams Jr. in here immediately. Tag Milk Dud Jr. in here immediately, okay? Tag uh, Mans Make Them Dance Milk Dud Head. Tag them. Bring them. Okay, all right. What? I don't know why they did that. But yes, on the twentieth, twenty first, go ahead and sign up, y'all, because uh, again, we only can have three thousand people, and our last online class was sold out. All right, I think we already had fifteen hundred people. Okay, so it's probably like fifteen hundred more tickets left for that online class that we're gonna have in January twentieth to twenty first. It's only fifty dollars to learn how to endorse your bills, fam. It's gonna be two. Um, classes, four hours each, which is an eight-hour class. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, now, now that that is out the way, because I just want to let y'all know this. All right. Now that that is out the way. Okay. So, y'all, let me just, let me just kind of take y'all, let me try to put y'all in my shoes, okay? Because I, I feel like I'm a great I'm a great teller of a story, okay? True stories, that is, okay? Let me tell you, okay, I'm, you know, through the month of December, we started my, started my mentorship, okay? You know, it's been going amazing. You know, we meet three times a week. You know, I haven't been able to see my kids this month, but I let the mothers of my kids know that, all right, I'm going to be locked in with my students this month, all right? So, we all, we all, so I, I'm going through the mentorship, and I'm trying to piece together the, the Miami class that we just had. So, you know, it's been a lot going on. It's been a whole lot going on. All right. So then one day I just wake up and I see, man, I refer to him as Milk Dude. I'm like, yo, what? Why? I thought, why, why is his brother still tagging me and stuff? I said, where's he coming? Then he tagged me into another guy's page. And I was like, why is he tagging me into Montel Williams? Like, what, Montel Williams? They're like, like, damn, Montel Williams was the youngest. Then I was like, oh, that's not Montel Williams. See, my mama used to love Montel Williams. All right, when I was a little, like, when I was a little kid, man, my mama used to watch Montel Williams all the time. So I'm thinking, Milk Dud tagged me into Montel Williams. Like, what is that? So I see my face on the post. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing to these brothers to have them feeling such a way that they got to gang up. I never, for never, never had to tag somebody else to help me with my battles. Okay? All right, so there's no way I can say the name. Okay, so, yes, he, today, he is Milk Dud. He is Chocolate Snowman. That's how he built, okay? Built like a chocolate snowman. I'm like, why is this chocolate poorly built snowman keep tagging me? Into it, like what is going on? Then it's like pocket watcher. I'm like, what is going on? What the hell is going on? 
what the hell is going on? First it was Tarzan. Then it was the the, the abominable chocolate snowman. Then it was goddamn Montel Williams Jr. I'm like, God damn, but wh- where's the meeting at? Who's next? Where is the meeting? Okay? Man, where, where the fuck is the meeting at? Is it a meeting going on and say, hey, we got to take man, sit down, man, we got to stop this shit now. I'm like, God damn. I already tried, I already tried to pay the chocolate snowman $200 to take my class. Y'all remember I did that? Tried to pay him. I guess his business has been doing good. I seen him make a, a, a comment on Montel Williams' post, and he was like, uh, I'll pay him for some more profession. I said, man, you can't talk boss talk with a boss. I already signed you. I already, I already did that to you. You can't do it back to me. I already gave, I already sent you two hundred dollars. You never sent me my two hundred dollars back. Make him dance. Make him dance. Snow, snowman. Make him dance. Chocolate snowman. You never gave him my two hundred dollars back. You talking about something? I, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm gonna pay him to get him get a professional man. Get a professional wardrobe. All right. Get a professional wardrobe, man. Like what? You built poorly. Is basically what I'm saying. Goddamn. That's basically what I'm goddamn saying. You gotta stop tagging me, man. All right. You gotta stop tagging me because it's like this. Me and you having a debate is like Eric Snow trying to guard Michael Jordan. Okay. It's just like Eric Snow probably got the most wheel in the world. Okay, chocolate snowman, you got the more, you got the best will in the world. But it's like just like T.I. told his little son, you can't do shit with me. Okay? You can't do shit with me. Alright? You can't do a you, man, you can't do a motherfucking thing with me, sir. Okay, your information versus this information, man, it's not even close. You're just kicking at my toes, all right? I already know what you do, okay? You already know what you do. Uh, yeah, man, you do a wonderful do- job of helping people sue and getting their money back for goddamn credit reports. What do you motherfucking do, Chocolate Snowman? What do you fucking do, okay? What what, what do you do, Chocolate Snowman? All right? What, what do you goddamn do, all right? Okay, you help people remove shit off their goddamn credit. Okay, and then somebody said, "Yeah, he's a yeah, he's a helper. He charged charged me twenty thousand. I said twenty thousand dollars. Man, I, man, the old head in me came out. I said twenty thousand dollars for what? Twenty thousand dollars for what? What? Man." Oh my goodness. I was like, hey, yo. This is the same guy that was mad at me for charging for classes. Chocolate Snowman, are you out there? Okay. Chocolate Snowman, is you out there? A- abominable Chocolate Snowman. That's how he built, man. You ever seen how he how, you ever seen how he built? Oh my goodness. I was like, somebody like that can't be talking like that. Okay. All right. I don't know where they at. Yeah, I don't know where they at yet. We, we, can, we can debate. Put them both. We can, we, we can debate. Okay? He started, he started asking me, where's your address? I'll pull up. Now you want to fight chocolate snowman? Okay? A person. I, 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 man, I've been wanting to say this. Oh, my gosh. I've been wanting to say this for so long. Uh. Now, I'm paraphrasing this. I would say this totally different if I wasn't on camera right now. But Chocolate Snowman, a person like you could never do nothing with a person like me. Okay? Man, you talking some pull up. What the fuck I look like pulling up? And no offense, what I look like pulling up to Indiana? No offense to Indiana. I'm with it. I'm down with the Indianables. But I was like, what do I look like? Pulling up to Indiana. Now, again, all my Indianians, I love you, but I'm just talking, I'm breaking it to him. He making y'all look bad. 
Oh, AJ making y'all look bad. All right. This is not supposed to get physical. It won't get physical. All right. I didn't understand how it got physical. I knew it got physical, and I was like, boy, you look dusty. I, cause I, I just remember roasting people in high school, and now that I'm at the age of 31, you know, these people, I probably give these people flashbacks. A lot of these people in this realm, they wasn't, like, they was, they probably wasn't those people in high school. You see, I was like, I'm like a rare breed. Like, I was, you know, like, when you're popular in high school, and then you don't make it, and then you become a bum? See, I end up learning information. So I still had the same confidence. You know what I'm saying? So I be kind of hitting folks where they be like, <sighs> me dry heaving and shit, chest getting big and shit. He over there DM me. All right, well, send me your address. What, I, what, a, what would a person like me look like sending a person like you my address? The hell? The, the fuck? Then he starts saying, I'll pay anybody to send me his address. Okay, come on down here. Come on down here. You must not know where I'm at, okay? But we're not taking that. Let's go ahead and switch that, okay? Because we're that was that was then, y'all. Now it's just it's just basically entertainment, okay? Okay. All right. But let's let's keep it on that. I didn't understand why I keep getting tagged in scammer posts. All right, I just don't understand, y'all. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. Man, what? What bit like a sack of potatoes? I'm like, what, man? What if you don't stop tagging me? No offense to anybody that's built like a sack of potatoes. Okay, no offense. All right. All I'm talking about is him. All right? But enough of him. All right? Enough of him. Enough of him. Montel Williams Jr. Okay? All right? See, the thing is, somebody tagged me in one of your posts like a couple of months ago. And I didn't really look too much in it. Why? Because the goddamn pro the profile is called Pocket Watchers. I'm like, who? What? The hell? Who the hell? What grown ass man? Okay, that's some nineteen year old, twenty year old blogger shit. You know, on oh, pocket watchers, we want to see how much money they're making. What grown man? You look like you're my daddy age. Okay, what grown ass man? The a grown ass man got a whole page called goddamn pocket watchers. What is what is this? And I'm like, is these the chumps I gotta go against? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh! I see how Floyd May I see how Floyd Mayweather feels. Oh my gosh! This this is it. Okay, this is it. This. My goodness, I told somebody, man, I'm about to come in this thing like 50 cent paws, okay? Big paws, all right? I'm about to walk in this thing just like 50 cent. Y'all remember when he came on, I, I made that post and I said, Scarish, tag who if you ever been scammed? And I started linking people that's been running from people. Oh my God, I'm glad I made that post, all right? It's like after that, it's like folks been goddamn linking up. Link it up to try to take me down. I tried to tell them already. I tried to tell them already. Y'all not going to stop Nathan. They've been hoping I'm going to get locked up. They've been hoping the IRS going to come beat down the door. They've been hoping that the IRS or the feds is watching. They be saying stupid, goofy shit like the feds are watching. And I was like, well, if you know anything, loser, you would know that I tell everybody we are the fucking feds. We're, we're the fucking feds. All right. So while you're busy trying to teach people financial literacy, how to teach people how to keep paying their bills, I'm going to keep teaching people how to perform their bills. 
Okay, you teach people how to bring in passive income. Hey, if any for anybody that teaches passive income, I'm here to let you know you're on the taking time clock. Why? Because real information is coming. Okay. The y'all credit repair people about to get moved out the way. So it's really on some Beanie Seagull shit. You can either get down or lay down. It doesn't even matter if anything happens to me. Guess if they, guess if something happened to me. Guess if something happened to me. That's going to make the shit even bigger. Goofy. Goofy. You don't think they already did that already? I'll be trying to tell people like, y'all don't think I'm prepared for certain shit. Okay, you think I just came in this motherfucker, lolly, die, lolly, die, lolly? No, we in this for the long haul. We're going to be around for a long time. Now, there's people that don't know what I'm talking about right now. Now, there are people that does know what I'm talking about, that is living his life, that would say, hey, if it's real, he wouldn't be on camera saying this. And now I'm telling you, they're some fucking weak. They're weak. Okay, they are weak because how the hell I need to be secretive when I'm reading this shit off Google? I'm going to say it again. Why would I be scared of teaching what I'm teaching if everything I teach is on Google? I wish they would take me to court. Like, can't you take me to court how? Because I read on Google? <laughs> That's why I'm saying like this information is going over their head. They're so mad. And I'll be like, give me that energy. Let me let me use you for your energy. Okay, give me some content. Y'all be people really think shit be like orchestrated. I mean, when somebody said, did y'all plan that? I'm like, y'all, no, this is not planned, y'all. This shit just happens like this. I know it's so funny that it looked like they were playing like, like I'm working with them. Trust and believe. I don't know these goofballs from a can of goddamn paints. All right? I don't know Nathan about Nathan. All right? All I do know is the only reason why I've talked to them is because they said something about me. They tagged me. Okay? I don't, I don't know why. All I do know is they can't do nothing with me. That's why I do know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I do know that they can't do nothing. You can, you can. He can tag the world. He can tag the 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 next six people he know. Tag them, okay? Come together, make a three hour, four hour video exposing mess. And I just be like, man, show show us. Please show us. Okay? Show us. All right? So, I'm just kind of showing y'all what real information does. Real information makes people uncomfortable. Because you got to put yourself... Imagine hearing me, right? Imagine you don't know me at all, right? Imagine you remove stuff off people credit and you get them checks back, you know, 4000 3000 Yeah, of course that uninformed person is going to love that, right? Now, imagine I come in and be like, yeah, what the fuck you about to do with that 4000 Go pay the fucking bill? Loser? Huh? Huh? See, so, like, it kind of rubs people. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? The fuck you mean? A duh, I'm about to go use this 4000 on my bills. So I'm like, did you fucking win? Is that a real fucking win? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you removed it off your goddamn credit, but but did you get your money back? Did you get your title to the car back? You just got some shit removed off the goddamn credit report. Whoop the goddamn dooski. Okay? Whoop the fucking do. We ain't over here talking about no goddamn removing a motherfucking thing off the credit report. Okay? We ain't talking about... Is it the chocolate Obama no snowman here? Okay? 
They talking about, he's here, he's here. Okay, listen up, chocolate. Okay, listen up. Okay, listen, listen up, abominable, abominable chocolate snowman. Listen up. You keep tagging me. I thought we already done washed our hands with you once, okay? You, you done came back to the back, though. Now you done brung in Montel Williams Jr. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you think he gonna damn do. What, you, what the hell you thought he was gonna do? You done ran to your OG. Is that your OG or something? You're like, put him on your page. Grown man. Actually, another grown man called Pocket Watcher to put this man on your page. You poorly built chocolate Obama new snowman. Okay? Milk dud senior head ass. Okay? Stop tagging me, man. You can't do nothing with me. All right, your information and this information, you can't do nothing. Not to not off. I don't know if you know what that means. Down south, that means nothing. You can't do nothing with me, brother. Okay, it's best that you stop tagging me, man. Because what's gonna happen is I'm trying to I'm trying to save you, man. You remember when I offered you two hundred dollars and I was like, listen, man, I know you think I'm a scammer. I'm gonna pay you to go watch my class. I'm gonna pay you two hundred motherfucking dollars, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pay you to watch my motherfucking class. You milk dud head motherfucker. I paid you two hundred dollars to watch my class. All right, and you know what you did? You didn't send me my money back. You damn sure didn't watch the class. I tried to prove myself to you. You know what you did? You start tagging people. You start saying, man, blah, 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 blah. And then when you start getting mad, you say, pull up. Pull up. <laughs> pull up. I was like, what? Did he just say pull Man, I'm 30 years old, man. I got motherfucking four kids, man. Then you start talking about my damn kids. I'm like, God damn, I don't really done hit something deep. Pause. Big paws. I done hit something super deep. Okay? I done hit talking about my damn kids. I'm like, God damn, milk dud. What my baby do to you? God damn. I'm like, shit. So, you know, we got done with this shit. I been done with it. I'm like, okay, I see all he doing is removing shit off people's shit. Winning in arbitration. <laughs> Whoop the goddamn dude. They still paying motherfucking bills. Okay? So, I left it alone. So, you know, I've been, you know, we've been growing HCA, you know, we've been doing our thing and shit. And then I wake up, I see a post, you know, my sister sent me to me there. I'm like, oh my God, this is milk dud back again. Is this part two? It's just part two. Tag, yeah, go, 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 yeah, go motherfucking tag somebody. All right, yeah, you know, start bringing my babies. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, we must be winning, God damn. No, no, Milk Dud is not getting on my man. Yo, man, he already got on my life. His crusty, dusty, musty, man, what? He will never, okay? Will never, okay? Dance, make him bad. I don't know what is, what? No, never. I get on live with Montel Williams Jr. All right, just to take his motherfucking page down, because I ain't going to lie, he do got some people on there that I agree with. Yeah, they scamming. All right, that's why I told him, he's doing things in good spirit, but I'm like, man, you got to do your homework. You got to do your homework, huh? You got to do your homework, huh? You can't let milk duds. Now, milk duds don't do you into some shit. Milk dud about to get handled, get thrown out of the way. Now, all this energy about to get sent to Montel Williams Jr. Okay? I'm like, God damn. Let me go ahead and let folks know this is the real side. Go ahead and take me off your goddamn page. And I need an apology video. I don't, want, I don't want no motherfucking apologies. I always get apologies. Maybe like, brother, I didn't know. I was going to apologize. I was like, man, get the fuck out of my inbox, man. Go make a post saying I goddamn apologize. Okay? Go say I apologize. That's the only way. I already know they ain't going to tap in. I didn't want to tap in with the Obama new snowman anyway. You know what I'm saying? He's just been punching at my toes for so long. I'm like, God damn, he's still talking about that motherfucking, uh, we got another, we got another, we got another one. We got another settlement. We got some things removed off credit. We got another motherfucking settlement. 
I'm like, they don't set your credit with pale head ass down. Okay? What? They don't sit your, man, what? What? I'm like, what? Do he, do he know what we did? Y'all, do he really know what we, what, what? <laughs> I don't think he knows. That's why I paid him to watch the class. Imagine somebody walking to you and paying you to watch some class, y'all. Imagine, imagine that. I'm really trying to flip this whole script. I'm like, I see how he talking. Okay, let me come to him like a boss. All right, let me come to him like a boss. Let me come to him like a boss. Hey, I'm going to give you $200, brother. Here's the class, man. You know, he said, man, blah, 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 blah. thank you for the 200 though. I'm like, you, well, you po, you po Joe. I'm telling me, you po Joe me. Yeah, I paid him, y'all. I paid him. I got all this. Yeah, I got all the motherfuckers. Y'all screenshot that motherfucker. Hell yeah. He be screenshotting everything else, but he don't, he can't seem to screenshot me sending him 200 to go watch my class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Swear to God, I, I promise y'all I paid him. He know I paid him. <laughs> He's asking, can somebody tell me why he don't accept my request? Can I somebody, because you already tagged your daddy in it. What we need to talk to you for? You already tagged a whole nother man. What we need to talk to you for? We waiting on Montel Williams. We waiting on Montel Williams. Junior. Yeah, man, he's so damn mad. He kept the 200 dollars like, ah, damn. It's like, damn, sheesh. <laughs> sheesh. Man, I'm not letting Vance talk, man. Vance, uh, he's a loser, okay? He's a loser in the real world, okay? Well, what do we need to talk to him for? <laughs> we already know what he's going to say. He's going to hop on here and say, well, well, where's your students at? Well, well where's your students at? Okay, uh, 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 show me, show me something. Show me something. I'll show you some sediments. I sh I'll, uh, okay, you can show me some goddamn sediments or remove some shit off credit. Great, great, great. You ain't about to get on here and waste our goddamn time. We already know what you do. And whoever talking about, let him talk. Take your ass over there with him. Fuck we need him for. Send that 200 back. That's what he can do. That's, tell him that's what that's that's what he can talk that he can talk to that cash app. That's what he can do. He can talk that 200 back. That's what he can do. Alright? Because I bet he used that 200 motherfucking dollars on a bill. And I was like, God damn it, I, I told you not to use that money for no bill. I said, use this 200 dollars and watch my goddamn class. He done used that 200 dollars for a goddamn bill. I done pay the grown man bills. Made me sick. That's really what I'm mad about. If it was a woman, I wouldn't even trip. But it's a grown ass man. That keep tagging me with another grown ass man. Pathetic. <laughs> we need to make some pathetic church. Pathetic. <laughs> that is pathetic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God, I literally tried to pay him, y'all. I tried to pay him. I tried to be cordial. I'm like, okay, we're going back. Okay, go, 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 go. Let me get in his inbox and pay him. I done paid him, man. I done paid a grown man bills. I'm like, God damn. Shit. <sighs> yeah, it's just a roast session tonight. No class tonight, y'all. Just two uninformed folks getting roasted. That's it. The usual. <laughs> the goddamn usual. <laughs> People think they know what's going on and they don't. <laughs> Somebody said, you lame if you don't accept the request. You lame. We waiting on Montel Williams. We not waiting on the abominable snowman. Okay? That's not what we're here for. Okay? He tagged. Montel Williams Jr. And that's who we waiting on. Okay? We not waiting on no means. We are bosses, so we want to get to the quote-unquote boss that was, that, was, that was tagged. We ain't talking to no runners. The hell? Talking to no goddamn runners? Yeah, get Montel Williams Jr. here, man. Get, let's all tag him. Montel Williams. 
Montel Williams, Montel Williams. Hey, 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 y'all go to his post and be like, Montel Williams, we need you. <laughs> Montel Williams, we need you. <laughs> Montel, Montel. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all be making shit too easy, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Oh my gosh. I am crying. That's why I had to wear these shades, God damn, because I already knew this shit was about to be too funny. Oh my goodness. I'm done with mentorship too. I'm done with the classes for for uh for Miami. Oh my gosh, I got plenty of goddamn time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I had to wait. They they been tagged me. I had to wait. I had to wait till I got done with the class and stuff, but oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Vans, vans, vans. Make make them dance. No, 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 no. You, you, you get to, when uh dudes say on Black Panther, we don't do that here. You get snow shine over here, brother. <laughs> you get snow playtime over here, brother. <laughs> we want my Tail Williams Jr. We want my Tail Williams Jr. Okay. Alright. We don't want to hear nobody that ain't got no remedy. We ain't, we, we don't want to hear nobody talking about no goddamn removal of goddamn credit. All right? It's plenty of folks that have literally transitions, okay? Literally done went from credit repair to now accountants, meaning helping their people get remedy as well. All right? That's what we own. That's what we own. All right? They probably, where's the remedy? Where's the remedy? Go look at the goddamn page, you loser. Shut up and go look at the page. While you over there smelling, make them dance, or bombing the snowman's feet, get your ass off your goddamn knees and go see the damn post. Go look at the page, Goofy. It's free. You get remedy. You get to see remedy. You get to see remedy. Open your fucking eyes up. They're talking about where's Mance's remedy? Where's Mance's remedy? Where's, I told y'all it's always going to be something. It's always going to be something. If I just show my remedy, they be like, where's your student's remedy? If I just show my student's remedy, where's your remedy? Where's your goddamn remedy? Okay? Where, 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 where's your remedy? <laughs> just a bunch of losers that be beside each other. Yeah! They be sitting beside each other. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> be looking at a loser table. I just look at all of us in high school. I be looking at them fucking losers. Yeah! Yeah, where's his remedy? Yeah, I, I see all his students' remedy, but where's his? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's calling me out, man. How can, how can a loser call a winner out? How? Y'all are just here, okay? How? 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 How can a loser call a winner out? How? How can a loser say that another loser is calling the winner out? Y'all see how crazy shit is? Y'all see what we living in? We got losers cheering for another goddamn loser. And we supposed to be core and we supposed to be respectful, family. We supposed to be like, listen, brother, listen, listen, listen. This information is real. I know you don't understand this or overstand this, but listen, uh, despite how you feel about me, but there is something called the Bill of Exchange Act, brother. Get your pen out and shut up. All right, there's something called the Bill of Exchange Act. All right, before you read the Bill of Exchange Act, my brother, when you read from the top all the way before you get to the subsections, it tells you about definitions. It breaks down all the definitions. All right, literally, the whole Bill of Exchange Act, literally, tells you what to do with all your goddamn bills. All right, so shut up while you're looking for proof. I'm about to tell you what they goddamn do. All right, so, oh, goddamn it, Ron. While you're looking for proof, I'm going to tell you what to do. All right, so you're going to go to Bill of Exchange, hey, brother. Now, I know you're not going to do this, but I just need to show the people that I always give this information out. All right, always give this information out. The Bill of Exchange teaches you how to endorse your bills. All right. Now, when you jump into the actual act, when you jump down to part two, it talks about how to interpret a fucking bill. Now, it doesn't say fucking, but I like to add that as an emphasis. All right. I like to add that as an emphasis, loser. All right. So just listen so you can be a winner. All right. Because I was once a loser and then I was a winner. All right. So 
In part two, it talks about interpretation of a bill. It literally says the only way to really pay a bill is through interest. Now, while you're working and listening to abominable chocolate snowman tell you you can remove stuff and you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta you you can still pay just gotta remove it. Blah, 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 blah. He is uninformed. He is a loser. He is losing. He is winning in a loser world. All right, we are winning in a winner's world. All right, you gotta remember there's two worlds. There's a loser world and there's a winning world. All right. Now you may be winning in a loser world, but you ain't winning in a winner's world. Okay. Okay. A win is only a will win in a winner's world. Okay. All right. Yes. I got a huge ego because I'm a leader. Humble, hum, humble man. Yes. I have a huge ego because only you know about the negatives of the ego. You don't know the positives of the ego because you don't know how to control your ego because you're a loser. That's why. That's why I don't sound right to you. Okay? That's why I don't sound right makes sense. All right? That's why I don't make sense. But back to the Bill of Exchange Act. All right? Back to the Bill of Exchange Act. Okay? That you can read for yourself. Pull up on your phone by yourself. All right? Pull up on your phone by yourself. Okay? Literally teaches you how to endorse a bill. Okay? Literally says, if you want to pay to the bearer, the bearer is literally the one that is in possession of the bill. Okay? Meaning, if you have the bill, that means you're the, in possession of it. Meaning, you're the payee. If you know what the hell the payee is, you know that the payee is the one that receives the funds. The payor or payee. I know the abominable snowman don't teach you that. All right? So, loser, shut up and just listen. Stop typing. That's your problem. You saying my ego, your ego is so small that it, that's it got you keep fighting. Your ego not big enough. All right, because you're uninformed. Okay? You're uninformed. Okay? Everybody that's, that's uninformed. Okay? Okay? Yeah, I love an epic size. All right, go lose. That's why I just, I just told my sisters, hey, we're not here for the losers. Leave them be, okay? Leave them be. All right, we're here for the people that's still on the brink that just need that extra, okay, I just need this clarification. That's what we're here for. We're not here for the brothers like him. All right, he's going to be working and finding passive income forever. All right, let his ass drown. All right, but back to the bill of exchange. All right, part two teaches about how to interpret a bill. It talks about how to express how to endorse about how to express that you want to pay it to the bearer. You just simply express. How do I express? By putting it on the bill. All right? By putting it on the bill. That's how I express. And I, that's how I turn my bill into an exchange. That's how I turn my bill into an exchange. That's how I turn my bill into an exchange. Okay? I turn my bill into an exchange into a check. It's called the Bill of Exchange Act family. Why y'all trying to beat me to scammer? Go tell that to the fucking laws. Okay? All right? All right? So, anyways. So, every bill that comes in is being issued to you by the payor. So, for instance, if I am the bank and I send you a bill, I am the issuer. I am the payor. Google it, Google it, okay, Google it, okay, Google it, Google it, Google it, Google it, Google it, I gotta make a song called Google, all right, all right, Google it, Google it, all right, something called the pay your, there's a pay your and the pay ye, can somebody please post the definition of pay your and pay ye? I got checks on every case filed, what the fucking do, loser, you still pay bills, shut up. All right, we're past you. We're teaching now. Shut up. All right, so does anybody, can anybody go to Google right quick? All right, can anybody go to Google right quick and look at payor? Look at the definitions of payor and then look at, at the definitions of pay ye. Okay? Yes, look it up. Chocolate Snowman, do you teach that? Montel William Jr., do you teach that? No, you don't. All right, pay your, pay ye. All right, can somebody please put the definitions of pay your and pay ye so the people in the stands can see? Because y'all know people don't want to read for themselves. They're going to keep saying, hey, this is fake information. <laughs> when am I going to get on pocket watches? Whenever he wants me over there, pause. 
You just make sure you just listen to what we talking about right now. You stop worrying. You stop worrying about two grown men. You worry about what we talking about right now. All right. You stay focused so you can get out your bills. So you ain't gotta follow us no more. All right. So you ain't gotta follow nobody no more. Goddamn. Okay. So I want you to look up what the word payee is and the word payor is. All right. I'm trying to turn you to a winner. All right. Yes. I'm trying to turn you to a winner because we're over here. We win. All right. All right. We win. Okay. Payee is a person to who money is paid. Ah. So if the payee is the one that receives the payment, the payor is the one that gives the payment, right? Bingo. So when you read the bill of exchange, Jack, and it says only way to pay interest, guess what? These corporations are paying, are paying you. They're paying you your interest every first of the month. Okay, they're paying you every first of the month. That bill that you're getting is a check. You're supposed to exchange it. You're supposed to accept it. Transfer it back to them. Let them know, hey, I want to use this motherfucker. All right, I want to use this shit. I want you to write down. I say, I want to use this shit. Okay, you might got to put that inside of your, your repertoire. Get some, get some, get some dog about you. A lot of y'all really some, some cats. I can't say certain things on y'all. A lot of y'all some cats. All right, y'all need some dog in you. All right. Okay, go to Google. All right, so when they send you these bills, you're supposed to accept these bills and transfer. How do I accept and transfer? All right, that's why I just said the Bill of Exchange Act, family. You go read that motherfucker once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and you keep reading to that motherfucker clicks. Okay, you keep reading to that motherfucker clicks. Okay, all right. He said, KO said you lying to people. Who the fuck is KO? Tell KO to shut up and kick rocks. All right, you keep talking about he said this, she said this. Okay, how about you go read what we talking about, you chatty patty loser? Okay, okay, all right. All right, so I want you to read the Bill of Exchange Act over and over and over and over again just till it clicks. All right, until, until it clicks, keep reading. Because there is no how many times should I read it before it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, tell KO to kick rocks. The fuck is KO? The fuck? She's speaking in code. Nigga, tag him. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> KO talking in codes and shit. You know who that is. I don't know who, who the fuck KO is. Maybe I mean people I talk to. The fuck is KO. Tag him. <laughs> Nigga type like a motherfucker. <laughs> Tag him, loser. The fuck you talking about? All right. But anyways, back to Bill Change that. All right. So listen. Tag. All right. So Bill of Exchange Act. Teach you how to endorse the bill. Okay. Uh, also, I want y'all to look up to what 12 USC 1431. All right. 12 USC 1431. Okay. It literally says powers and duties of banks. Powers and duties of banks. Powers and duties of banks. Their very first powers is to borrow. Is to borrow. Okay. So, what are they borrowing, family? All right, because that's what a lot of missing piece and goes, y'all. That's what a lot of mystery goes. Like, what are they borrowing? What are they borrowing? So, y'all remember that application that you submitted? All right? Now, you always got to remember, again, y'all, this is the same information over and over and over. Why, do, why am I saying the same thing I've said for the last three, four years? Because it's the same information, y'all. It doesn't change, fam. It doesn't change, fam. It's the same. Y'all going to hear me say this next year? The year after that, the year after that. Why? Because it's always a new beginner coming through these doors. All right. Again, so the application is the collateral. Now, did you let them know that the application was the collateral family? No, we didn't. All right. So this is where accountability comes in. Damn, I didn't tell them I want to use my application as a collateral. Damn. Okay. All right. Like damn, I didn't. I didn't ever tell them that I want to. Uh, that I want to apply this security collateral to the account. Damn. Now where did I learn this? Cause I didn't make none of this shit up. 
Okay, the Federal Reserve Section 16, family. I've been saying the same shit. Federal Reserve Section 16, Part 2. Talks about application. Every every application. Okay, every application must be with a tender of payment. All right, when you submitted your application, did you tender the payment? All right, we didn't do that. All right, we was all in the same boat, fam. We didn't know this shit. All right, now granted, no one stopped us from learning this shit. We just wasn't on like, yo, damn, let me look up in Google. Let me, You see what I'm saying? That's not what we was on. All right, did you tender the payment? Okay? Okay? Did you tender the payment? All right, did you tender the payment? Did you tender the payment? Okay. Did you tender the payment? 10 times out of 10, you did not. Because a lot of us would say, well, what does tender the payment mean? Exactly, family. Exactly. I just said Federal Reserve Section 16, Part 2. Federal Reserve Section 16, Part 2. Federal Reserve Section 16, Part 2. I don't even got to have it in front of me. All right? Because I read it so much, I know what it says. It says, any Federal Reserve Bank may make application. Let me show you how you're a Federal Reserve Bank because your all caps name is the consumer. That is the estate. That is the principal. That's the government entity that is used when you enter consumer credit transactions. All right? So that lets you know that that entity is a part of the Federal Reserve System, meaning we all have our own individual Banks, we have our own individual banks. When all our banks or all our individual banks come together, we create the central banking system, family. All right, it's simple. It's not rocket science. You don't got to think about no Rothschilds, no goddamn Illuminati. Get all that scary mumbo jumbo shit out of here, okay? All right, just figure, just see what it is. Use it. If you don't want to use it, keep goddamn working. Keep goddamn looking for passive income, all right? So let's keep going. So it literally says... All right. It literally says that every application must be accompanied. Do y'all know what the word accompanied mean? Accompanied means you must come with something. All right. You must, bam, be together. All right. Meaning your tender of payment must be with your application. Now, let's say I do an online application. All right. If I do an online application, cool. I still submit it online. I'm still going to submit my typed up instructions, I might send it to the uh, uh, the CFO, send it straight to the headquarters, let them know, and I reference my application. Always remember, before you submit any application, write down the uh, application number. Write down the application number, okay? I know it sounds too simple, brother, because everybody done made this shit too difficult. <laughs> All we doing is following what we reading. Everybody that's teaching y'all are not reading anything. All right. I'm telling you where to go. And it says this. Everything I say, I can back it up with literature. I'm not making nothing of this up. That's why I would never lose to a loser. <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about this. I don't got to make nothing up. It's already made for me. All right. So anyway, so the application is the money that the banks borrow. That's why they say that the banks tell you, hey, we can fill you out the application. We just have to run your credit. Your Social Security credit card is that is a credit card. So when they ask you for your social when they say we just need to run your credit, they're not talking about your credit score. OK, they're saying we're going to run your goddamn credit card through our payment system. All right. You gave them a credit card. Your social security number is linked to a credit card, your social. All right. They ran it and you entered a consumer credit transaction, which was a credit sale. OK. They sold over the application. They gave it to the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve advanced that those Federal Reserve notes. The bank was supposed to come back to the consumer and provide that line of credit for the consumer. Now, this is where the wacky shit comes into play is when they deny you for a bad credit no credit, or if they say your income debt ratio is too high, all right, then it makes your credit go bad, whatever, whatever. Then you got guys like the Abominable Snowman that helps people remove shit, and then they think they get a win because they want some money that they was already supposed to motherfucking get. 
But it's like, did you get your title back? Did you get your, all your money back? I'm like, great, you sued that. I'm I've been telling you for the last two, three years, elevate, motherfucker, goddamn. Do you not know what you can do with what you're doing now? Folks want to say, you worry about goddamn four thousand damn dollars. What they goddamn do? We're living bill free. What are you talking about? It's no comparison. Okay, no comparison. All right. So the Federal Reserve teaches you what to do with the application. The Bill of Exchange teaches you how to handle a bill. Okay. Literally, how, how, how to handle a bill. So if I'm in a contract, you got to know the elements of a contract. All right? You got you to gotta know the elements of a contract. Everybody can speak contract, but don't know the elements of a contract. You got to know every agreement you're in, you're a due valuable consideration, family. All right? You're due valuable consideration. There is no agreement or contract that you're in that you did not receive valuable consideration. You did receive it. You receive it every month on the 1st. They send them out in bill forms. They send us the interest every 1st of the month, family. That is the interest that they are paying to the principal. Remember, they're giving it to the name that is on our bill. The name that's on our bill is not our name. That's our government name that we can control. Okay? All right? Okay? So, literally, the government name is what the bill is being sent to, meaning it's credits. Now, we're the representatives for the principal. Remember, the whole account is the principal's account. That's why they say, hey, your principal's balance is da-da-da. Hey, your principal's balance is, you got to hit a verbiage. My principal's balance is positive dot-dot-dot. Okay. Yeah, we are not the social. The social is our consumer that we can control. We're the gods, family. We're the gods and we can control consumers. All right? We can we control entities. All right? You got you to gotta look at it on some deep shit. I know I get on here, la, la, ha, 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 he, he, he. I can do that because I really know and I see what's going on. And I'm really kind of dibble and dabble with children mentally, all right? So, like, guys like this, it just really be child's play to me, to be honest, because we can really get down to some real information that, that they wouldn't even know. Well, what? what? What are you talking about? No, no. And I'd be like, okay, all right, let me get up out of here. Okay? All right? So, again, we are the gods and we control entities, okay? I'm going to say it again. We are gods and we control entities. That's why it literally starts with... Uh, we the people. That's what the Constitution starts off with. We the people. And it also talks about in God we trust, meaning God we do business with. A trust is nothing but a business entity. All right. So in God we trust. All right. Meaning we can only do business through God and God can only do business through a what? Entity. Okay. All right, so we're always the agent on behalf of our principles. Okay, so everything is contract. Exactly, everything is contract. Everything is a transaction. There is no running away. There is no motherfucking living off grid. What? You still got to be in, in, uh, in contract with nature. You see what I'm saying? Ah, people be trying to run away from cash, which means you don't need cash. Not cash, but run away from money. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a part two. All right, we're going to do a part two because clearly Montel Williams Jr. ain't coming. All right, so yeah, we, uh, I, we, yeah, I definitely debate him. I definitely debate him just so I can get him to make another video of say, hey, man, yeah, man, he done showed me some shit, man. <laughs> All right, but we're going to do a part two. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. All right, lock and loaded.